Hi friends, I am Arpita. I was just glued to my computer screen and I was preparing notes for my students. But if you are wondering that why am I having laptop in my hand in this video lecture, it is because today we are going to talk about computers in IT which forms an important part of our life and also it forms an important part of paper one syllabus. So we'll be looking at the topics which you need to study when it comes to computers and IT because computers are a very important part of our can feel that ki almost sabhi jo meri age ke hai, they spend like four to five hours on the computer screen be it their work or be it playing games listening to music watching movies making notes computers apne aap mein ek itna powerful device hai that you can do anything with this device and it can keep you occupied for like thousands of years so isi liye just because this device has become an integral part of the education system it is important that Every professor or a would-be professor knows the basics about computers and this is why in our UGC NET Paper 1 ke syllabus mein, computer and IT se 5 questions every year aate hai. So we will be looking at few important topics that you must study if you are preparing for Paper 1 and we will have a detailed discussion on all these topics so that you can channelize your preparation and you can score good marks in your next Paper 1 exam. So let's start from the basics. The first important component of computers and IT is knowing about computer system. Computers consist of CPU which is central processing unit. It comprises of two things ALU and CU. ALU is arithmetic logical uh, unit and CU is control unit. Apart from this you should also have basic knowledge of the memory. RAM, ROM, CATCH files, what are these terms? RAM is random access memory, ROM is read-only memory. CATCH files are temporary files which are stored on your computer and only when you run a cleaner, these files are removed and you are able to use the space. Aapke mobiles maybe when you download a cleaner, you install a cleaner from Play Store and you run that cleaner, 2 or 3 GB ka memory khali ho jata hai achanak se. Because all the catch files, the temporary files which were stored in your system, they are removed. So you get access to the storage that was used by those temporary files. Apart from this, you should also have basic knowledge of peripheral devices. Peripheral devices are basic softwares and hardwares that are used in computers. So you should know what are the basic hardware components and what are the basic softwares which are there in your computer. The next component that you must study is about computer networks. Sari computers are alag alag hai, but if you connect all those computers, you can do wonders. Agar main apne ghar ke first floor pe rehti hu and my brother lives in the ground floor and if we both keep our computers connected to a same printer then if I give a command from the first floor my printer my documents will be printed if my brother give the command from the ground floor my, the printer will print the documents this is the benefit of having a computer network ki ek hi device ko aap bahut sare computers se ek saath use kar sakte hai and there are a lot of other benefits which you can study on your own I'm here to tell you the basic networks that you must remember we have pan which is personal area network it is for personal use then we have lan which is local area network the computers in my house are connected with lan local area network if you are a part of a college or a big institution there all the computers must be connected using man man which is metropolitan area network connecting computers of a larger area and finally we have van which is wide area network which connects all the computers all over the world and a very very important example of van is internet so with internet we all are connected together we are like vasudev kutumbukam the entire world is my family this is what you feel like when you are on internet everything is just one click away so that is one so you can know more about these computer networks because they form an important part of the syllabus of paper one we all know different languages some of us know hindi english and several other languages as well chinese spanish french 
Similarly, computers even have their own language and their language is quite simple. They just use two digits that are 0 and 1. So anything that you communicate to your computer is translated into a series of 0 and 1. So this language is called binary language or low level language, machine language. These are for some words used for language used by computers. You must be aware of modems. If you have a broadband connection in your house, there's a modem which converts digital signals and analog signals. So analog signals are converted into digital signals. Digital signals are signals which are transported in a series of 0 and 1. Analog signals are the signals which have wavelength frequency. Just like our sound, this is an analog signal. So analog signal is converted to digital signals by modem. So modem is said to be modulator, demodulator. It has come from the word modulator and demodulator. Apart from this, you must also know that there are other kinds of language related to computer. We have got high level language just like Java, C++. All those who are into computer development and software development, they must be knowing that these languages, high level languages are something which we understand but the computers cannot understand that so we need a compiler which can convert the high level language into machine language so that our instructions are understandable to the computer so this entire theory of computer languages you just need to go through the basics of these things you should know the basic languages what are the popular high level languages what is the use of modem how does compiler work so a basic information basic knowledge of this section will help you to score more in your exam next topic that you must study is storage devices i remember when i was a kid there was a time when our teachers used to ask us to bring the project in floppies so floppy was the most common kind of storage device at that time and it used magnetic storage later came a time when dvds and cds became quite popular and we found that you know all these optical devices came into trend and finally now is the time when we use hard disk we use pen drives in which we can carry so much information like i have seen pen drives which are so portable that you don't even see them with the naked eyes they are so so small and those small pen drives can contain tons of information so that is how computer hand things related to computers have developed over a period of time and you must know a bit about the trend of the storage device you should also know the popular hard disk or uh, in today's time we have hdd we have ssd so you should know a bit about these two things the next topic that needs your attention is file extensions i'm pretty sure that if you are observant then you don't need to learn file extensions because i am quite confident about this fact that all of you must have worked on microsoft word powerpoint excel all of you must have seen images in your computers and whenever you store all these images all these documents you find that they get stored with the name and after that name there's a particular extension these extensions are important and they are asked in net exam for example every word file has an extension dot doc every image has an extension dot jpg dot png and several other extensions every excel file has an extension dot xls so you should remember all these popular extensions because they give you the extension and they ask that which particular software uses this kind of extension. When I was a kid, I was learning about storage units. For example, we had liters and how to convert liters into milliliters and we had kilometers and how to convert kilometers into meters and centimeters and inches. So these were units which are used for measurement. Similarly, in order to measure the data stored in your computer, they use a different kind of unit which is called bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes. So another important section that needs your attention is the storage units. You should know how many bytes will make a kilobyte, how many kilobytes make a megabyte, how many megabyte makes a gigabyte and how many gigabytes make a terabyte. And you need to know the sequence that which of these storage unit is greater. Okay, a terabyte is greater than a gigabyte and a kilobyte is less than a 
megabytes. So this comparison should be there on your fingertips. The IT sector is filled with acronyms. You cannot uh, dare to go into the exam without knowing some popular acronyms. So the next section you need to study is acronyms. You should know simple acronyms for SMTP which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, MOOC which stands for Massive Open Online Course. Then we have several other acronyms that will uh, create a havoc in your brain but I'm pretty sure that if you tend to learn those acronyms it will definitely pay you the desired results. The next important section that you should not skip is terminology. Internet is filled with terminology. If you look at the IT sector you will see so many terms. You should remember some popular terms. You will get a list of popular terms when you go through the previous year papers. You might encounter some popular terminology they have asked. So you should know more about those terms for example you should know what is bandwidth bandwidth means amount of data that can be transferred then we have uh, things like boolean operators whenever you search on google you can use operators like and or and these operators will help you to narrow down your search if i use and i can search about two things which are there in the same web page. If I'm talking about two writers and I put and in between them, that means only those pages will come in the search box which contains information about both the writers or means either of them. So these are called Boolean operators. They help you in searching things on internet. The next section is the most unexpected part of the question paper because when I saw those questions in the question paper, I was shocked to see uh, those questions and I was really wondering that how am I going to solve this question in this lifetime but then the situation became better when I came across several YouTube videos which helped me in solving those questions and they were pretty easy. So the section that I'm talking about is binary to decimal conversion and decimal to binary conversion basically binary are 0 and 1 okay so they might give you a number like 250 and they ask you to convert that into binary that means 0 1 ke sequence may you need to convert it and on the other hand they might give you a binary number like 010.77 and they ask you to convert that into decimal so you need to get the digit for which that binary uh, number is there. So this entire complex procedure is not so complex. If you go and watch some videos on YouTube how to convert decimal to binary and how to convert binary to decimal, I'm pretty sure that after watching two or three videos, you'll have a crystal clear idea about how you can convert it. So this section requires your time and it also requires a bit of a practice because it might uh, sound a bit unfamiliar to you so you must practice few decimal and binary conversions before you go and sit for your UGC net paper. Finally let's jump to the last topic which comes under the umbrella term of uh, computers and IT and that is internet. All of us use internet on a regular basis but it is important that we know certain important terms associated to internet like you should know that what is IP IP is internet protocol every computer every laptop has an IP address by which you can be traced from which IP the computer was hacked this is a popular term that you will come across if you go and meet some web developers and some software engineers similarly there are things like URL my website is arpitakarva.com this is a URL uniform resource locator so URL kya hota hai you should know that there are other important things like web browser kya hai you should know which is with the first web browser Netscape so these small small basic things you should keep in your mind if you are preparing for UGC net paper one these are very simple if you just go through the previous year papers you will come across these basic terms and when you search these terms you might land up on some other important terms as well I would not suggest you to go through any particular guidebook or any particular book in order to understand all these things that is the reason why I have classified it under categories so that you know what things you need to read under the section called IT and computers. So with that note I end my video lecture. I have already made a few videos on paper one and few important topics I have covered in those video lectures. If you have not gone 
through my YouTube channel, you can go to my YouTube channel and look at the playlist of paper one you will find few important videos that you should not miss if you are preparing for paper one if you have not subscribed to this channel then do it right now also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a video for your guidance and for your assistance so with that note i end this video happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com